ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் நந்தினி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபசர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் கேஸா காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் விமன் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் கைட் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் யூனிட் டூ டாபிக்ஸ் திஸ் டாபிக்ஸ் ஆர் வேரியபிள்ஸ் டேட்டா டைப்ஸ் டெசிஷன் மேக்கிங் அண்ட் கண்டிஷன் அரித்மெட்டிக் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் வேரியபிள்ஸ் A variable is nothing but a name given to a storage area that our programs can be manipulated. Each variable in Visual Basic has a specific type which determines the size and layout of the variable's memory, the range of values that can be stored within that memory, and the set of operations that can be applied to the variable. Second one is data type. A data type is refers to which type of data or value is assigning to a variable or function so that a variable can hold a defined data type value. For example, when we declare a variable, we have to tell the compiler what type of data or values is allocated to different kinds of variable to hold different amounts of space in computer memory. Syntax. The syntax is uh, refers to how to data type Uh, declare in a visual basic program uh, dim variable underscore name has data type some different type of data types are available in visual basic these are string integer floating point character boolean uh, date and time and etc uh, string is used to uh, alpha numeric character integer data type is used for whole numbers then floating point data type is used for numbers within decimal point and then character data type is used for encoding with the numerically arithmetic operations uh, visual basic and then vb.net supports all simple arithmetic operations these are addition subtraction multiplication division integer division remainder division exponentiation string concatenation decisions and conditions decision making structures require that the programmer specify one or more conditions to be evaluated or tested by the program along with a statement or statements to be executed if the condition is determined to be true and then optionally other the statements to be executed if the condition is determined to be false then another set of statement is executed some different type of the conditions are available in visual basic these are if then statement if then else statement nested if statements select case statement and then finally nested select case statement first one is simple if then statement if then statement consists of a boolean expression followed by one or more statements and then second one is if then else statement and if then else statement can be followed by an optional else statement which executes when the boolean expression is false only nested if statement you can use one if or else if statement inside another if or else if statements select case statement a select case statement allows a variable to be tested for equality uh, against a list of values last one is nested select case statement you can use one select case statement inside another select case statements that's all thank you